until I found Dr. E. And then things changed. It made it very simple. I was very comfortable with him. I've never felt that way with a dentist. I knew right away that this was going to be my dentist for the rest of my life. Got a light that doesn't light or a switch that doesn't switch? Call Powell for any electrical problem. Call Powell Electric for our $79 spring special. Call Powell Electric. We'll fix it in a flash. Right now at 6, protests expand at local college campuses. UCLA beefs up security after weekend clashes and what the president of USC did today for the first time. We have live team coverage. Plus thousands of dollars worth of items stolen from a home in Mar Vista. Could other homes also have been targeted? The new video tonight of the suspected burglars. And LA Mayor Karen Bass takes the homelessness fight to our nation's capital. More on today's meeting in D.C. This is NBC4 News at 6. And we begin tonight with those campus protests showing no signs of coming to an end. At USC, student demonstrators meeting with President Carol Fold today. Good evening, everyone. I'm Carolyn Johnson. And I'm Colleen Williams. Right now, the campus remains closed after a very busy weekend that included more encampments and sometimes a lot more chaos. NBC4's Conan Nolan joins us live with more. Conan. That's right, Colleen. The university administration says it has been trying to meet with those protesters and the leadership of the protest movement on campus for several days. They've been rebuffed. Apparently that changed the administration confirming a report that there was a meeting or was set to meet with leaders of the student encampment at around 3.30 this afternoon. We're not sure if it actually happened, where it happened, or what was discussed. Uh, we do know that the leadership of the student protest they sent out a message saying, yes, there's going to be a meeting. Don't call it a negotiation because they're staying with their demands. Nine of them, including complete divestment from Israel, as well as an elimination of all police on campus and a elimination of any plan for the USC campus to advance or to uh, purchase property outside into South Los Angeles. In the meantime, the rest of the campus, well, they're getting ready for finals. And on the sixth day, they rested. The now world-famous tent encampment at the University of Southern California, quiet, as was the rest of campus. For the first time, students don't need to be anywhere that would require passage through disputed grounds. We don't have classes this week, actually. We're all done for finals. Hey, parties, papas, brownies, red leather cake. Mercy Omani, setting up her Nigerian food stand, appreciates the downtime as well. Studying builds appetites. I have what they need, so when they are ready, they should come. Those not engaged in the pro-Palestinian protest were sidewalk surfing past truckloads of temporary bleachers to be set up for the smaller commencements that haven't been canceled. Graduates to be honored at department-level ceremonies sprinkled throughout University Park campus, which remains closed, only students and faculty allowed or those pre-approved to visit. Political activist and radio show host Earl Ofari Hutchinson had to remain outside as well, as he called on university administrators to find common ground with protest leaders. If you've tried four times, you haven't been successful, try a fifth time, try a sixth time. Is there any limit on it? Actually, there may be. The university has said it needs to start setting up soon for those many commencements in areas where tents now predominate. But for now, the main focus for the vast majority of those on campus is not geopolitical events, but final exams. This while getting their steps in. It's like they close all the gates, so like I got to go all the way around to get to my dorm. Follow the way there, but yeah, I'm kind of kind of lost. Once again, the representatives of the protesters saying in their communication that our negotiations, our occupation will continue until all, our, all of our demands are met. I'm Conan Nolan reporting live from Exposition Park, NBC4 News. Back to you. And our team coverage continues now on the campus of UCLA. NBC4's Carmen Dickerson is there for us where some students and faculty walked out today in support of pro-Palestinian protesters. Karma. Yes, the energy from this protest has 
picked up considerably since the last time we came to you. We want to give you an idea of where we are and what's going on. So we're in the middle of campus, just between two protests. On one side, you have got the Palestinian camp, the pro-Palestinian camp that has been up since Thursday. And these are essentially students that have taken over a